What's up YouTube? I'm Fleischaholic and the ROM of the week will be Chroma ROM. Okay, Chroma ROM is uh, AOSP Marshmallow 6.0.1 based custom ROM by Zepic. I'll provide the link in the description below. So let's jump into it. Okay, at first glance you can see that this ROM does look like a normal stock ROM but it has a zisk here which means it had added advantage as you can see the settings it has a personalization settings which is a bunch of tweaks which you guys can use it's quite a useful tweak it's not overwhelming at the same time it's not unnecessary all the tweaks are uh, provided in this rom which is baked into this rom is quite useful okay let's get into it now okay if you can go to the status bar setting or status bar tweaks these are tweaks that actually I love to use because as you can see battery stacks usually for stock we only have this battery indicator without any percentages so in this ROM basically we can change it so I prefer percentage so that I can see this is the remaining uh, battery I'm being, having in my phone so it's easy for me clock and date basically as you can see it's really in my what I'm using now is the clock is centered so if you guys don't like it you guys can basically change it back to the normal or you guys can change it to the left or if you guys want you guys can hide it but i prefer it to be right on the left so basically you guys can add your am and pm style if you guys want and you guys can make it smaller or you guys can just hit it as a default date if you guys can wise you just can add smaller normal it's kind of cool you guys can change the style of the date and the format of the date Okay, now the next thing will be so if you can see I already enable show notification which means every time if I have various notification from any of the apps I'm using it will provide the notification on the status bar. Okay, the next one will be quick pull down. Okay, quick pull down is basically I enable it right basically when I pull it on the right it will bring all my quick settings. If I go on the left it only shows the notification. It's kind of cool. Okay, the next one will be show weather, the status bar header, yeah, I can show it here. This is the show weather, as you can see, in the top right corner, under the setting. And then, clock widget, which I'm not using currently. Okay, the next cool feature will be the quick settings feature. Okay, basically, custom uh, stock ROMs does usually have this two <coughs> tiles enlarged. So, in this custom ROM, basically, I can just disable it so it will be normal and as you can see it's uh, enabled show four tiles per row so it has four tiles per row and the bottom one is only two tiles per row also included blindness slider and also advanced location settings this is a very useful q7 text providing this from okay let's jump into navigation bar as you can see nexus 5 i was yeah sorry to mention that i'm currently using my nexus 5 so since nexus 5 has uses the uh, on screen navigation key so it's supposed to be enabled by default the okay the buttons and layout i don't like to change it because i prefer these three navigation keys but the thing that i really hate most in the stock uh stock rooms are basically where the navigation bar height for all the stock rooms will be default 48 i don't understand why they want to make it so big but i prefer it to be 40 because it looks so minimal and it's more aligned with the status bar size uh the height of the status bar other than that we have like a couple of tweaks here which i'm currently not using but the one of the best feature we should should be in stock room would be the clear all button basically this clear all button is you if you want to clear any of the settings you just need to tap on the green clear all button and then it will clear every all of the open application instantaneously so you don't have to like scroll and swipe everything one by one in order to close it so basically you guys can change all the location so it should be bottom right top center so i choose bottom right and if you include or uh, this is a feature is kind of cool because when you hit the recent button basically it clears all the foreground tasks so it shut down every every all the running background tasks access except for the android framework okay and then another one is if you guys can notice here you guys couldn't see any of the search bar here so because i have already disabled it so there won't be any recent search bar sorry uh, search bar in the recent menu ok 
Okay, the next one will be gestures. Gestures basically the same. We have like double tap to put the device sleep, navigation bar, same. It, it is, performs the same function to put the phone to sleep. And that will be the lock screen. Okay. Uh, the, the, the one that I really enjoy using is a three finger gesture, which means you don't have to like do the combination of uh, power menu, power button, and also uh, <coughs> volume rock, uh, down volume rocker to capture a screenshot. So I'll just swipe my three finger. It will just capture the screenshot. It's kind of cool. And then it's, it's much more faster and intuitive. Okay, the next one would be the lock screen. Uh, I don't have much going on here because it's like quite minimal and simple. The best part is you can actually change the lock screen wallpaper and also you can clear the lock screen wallpaper. It's kind of cool to have to see this in a custom ROM. Other than that, power menu. Okay, this is the most useful feature that I can say basically should be baked into a custom ROM. I know what the Google developers are actually doing. They are not implementing this, but this is one of the cool features, which means you just uh, enable Reboot Mini Screenshot A Plan, and then when you press your power button, long press button, basically you can get all these couple of uh, bunch of settings, which means you can straight away reboot. And when you reboot, you can basically go into Soft Reboot Recovery and Blue. It's kind of useful because since I'll be flashing my ROM every week, so I'll be like needing this. It's kind of cool feature. So if you guys want to reboot or soft reboot, if you guys updated anything and then you have a, f a slight freeze or something, you guys can basically perform this without any hassles or sh without shutting down your phone permanently for the until you guys need to switch around in order to reboot. So other than that, we have like setting shortcut, search, voice search, sound open and device lockdown. These are these are not actually this this tweaks I I don't like to use much because I I feel it is uh, unnecessary for me. But I'm not sure about how you guys feel, but maybe you guys will love it. Who knows? You guys can give it a try. The last will be the volume rockers. So the volume rocker is basically the same. So currently, if you guys can see, I will enable volume rocker music controls, which means I'll be controlling the music tracks, seek the music track using my volume rockers, and also the swap on rotation, which means if I swap my, if I put my phone in default, uh, in, in a landscape mode. Basically, the music uh, volume rocker will actually swap the, it, it, its position. That's cool. Okay, so let's get into the. Okay, if you guys can see, all the other things are quite the same. Display. If you guys look at it carefully, you guys can see that's wow. This is theme. Basically, this theme is basically. Uh, you guys did. Uh, if you guys have flashed a uh, marshmallow, developer people actually they had this before. I don't know why they removed it, but you guys can find this in the ASP ROM, this uh, uh, Chroma ROM. It's kind of cool to have this, so you don't have to like use a very bright or fun for theme or something. So it's kind of cool. The next one will be power button. I'm not sure about why. Uh, this thing doesn't work as expected in my phone, or maybe I need to reboot or something, but it's currently not working. Other than that, another one would be the ambient display. Ambient display basically, uh, it uh, you if if you if you receive a notification, you just need to wake your screen up by picking up your device. Basically, it shows a glance of the notification. It's kind of cool. It, it it shows a subtle, uh, subtle ambient display notification. It's kind of cool actually. Other than that, um, I have this option where I just every time I <coughs> plugged in my charger or unplugged it, the screen will actually wake. Uh, so that it shows me that I'm the phone I'm charging I'm um, like unplugging it from charge so that's uh, okay sounds notification is basically the same thing there's nothing much the things I want to show you guys is this okay if you guys can see super so is basically uh, pre-baked into this ROM basically you guys don't have to find another alternative way to roll it because basically it's already pre-rooted once you already download and flash it, it's actually pre-rooted. So as you guys can see, I'm using Add Away and Lucky Patcher. Two of these are my root enabled application, which is for so useful. Okay, next one what you guys can see is the system UI tuner. Basically, in order to activate the system UI tuner, uh, system UI tuner is basically you guys need to go and press uh, tap on the settings button until it actually rotates and then if you guys let it go it will activate but in this case in this ROM it's already pre-activated so you do you guys don't have to go through the hassle in order to activate it so you guys in the system you have to know basically you guys can add uh, tiles or you guys can uh, delay all the tiles that you guys want 
or just leave it as it is next one will be the status by items this basically shows all the notification from all this mentions item so that's how it pretty much sums it so i'm just showing you guys currently i'm running on my nexus 5 so the android version is 6.0.1 marshmallow okay i actually I suck in this game so just leave it um <coughs> the build number is double mb 29 m is the latest chroma rom build which is the december 10th uh, i know it's been a long time after the release but i just got the chance i need to try and test this rom because you don't want me to just simply flash and give you guys a review which is not even worth it right so okay uh if you guys want to talk about the well, wondering uh, how about the battery life okay well the battery life for this rom is quite good it's not bad it's it's good once you enable those so let me show you okay so uh i was i actually uh just unplugged my phone from the charge like almost like 40 50 minutes ago so basically this is the battery so as you guys can see here i switched off uh, sorry i put my uh, i put my phone on sleep for like two of the sessions here look at that so basically the dose mode is activated so it actually conserves battery it's kind of cool and then um since i'm recording this using an az screen recorder it cons uh, it consumes a lot of battery so if you guys are like casual gamers you guys like heavy in multimedia songs musics videos you guys watch youtube's all these web browsing you guys can get an average battery life out of almost three hours plus averagely but if but that's with wi-fi connected if you guys don't connect with any of the wi-fi or data basically you guys can get almost four but it's 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 basically that's more placebo effect so you guys it varies depending on your normal use okay now let's go to the front okay now this this chroma rom actually uses an aosp based launcher which is similar to google launcher yeah it's not pretty much nothing going on here because the the settings for this launcher is quite is actually non-existent except for the rotation just now i showed you okay uh as you guys can see i just have like limited amount of application used here like a couple of games audio effects yeah i just want to inform you guys audio effects actually pre-baked into this rom mm -hmm. it's kind of cool because this is one of the best equalizer that i've seen or used and i really love the way they implemented this okay uh if you guys wonder what wallpaper i'm using actually this wallpaper is from justin Miller. so if you guys want i can provide you guys the links in the description below also together with the rom and also the gaps i'm using which is pico gaps is one of the smallest gaps it just cost uh it only weighs around 25 mb or 50 mb something i'm not sure but uh i've, I've been flashing a lot of roms so i don't keep track of the the size of the gaps so uh that's all guys um yeah before i end the video ah yeah i've installed expose installer i don't know why i forgot this but yes I, I installed expose installer i'm currently using expose framework version 79 by robo uh, this is the latest that he actually uh developed the latest version that he updated so the models i'm currently using is just lucky patcher uh if you guys want to use this uh i'll provide the link for this install expose installer together with the zip file for nexus 5 which means arm based chips so you guys can flash and have uh, benefit from it okay that's it guys nothing much i hope you guys enjoy my video if you guys like my video just hit the like button if you guys really enjoy watching this video please subscribe i really hope that you guys can subscribe so that i can it will really encourage me to provide a lot of like produce a lot of videos which is useful at the same time um, informational for you guys 
so uh till next till the next video guys um i'm flashaholics and if you have any questions you guys can comment if you guys like your negative your positive you guys feel that um, this video lacks or anything or it, it deserves a mention please comment and let me know so till the next video guys happy flashing